Hey, David. Good evening. Hi, teacher. How are you? Doing great. How was your day today? Good. Did you teach? Yes, yes, I teach every day. <laughs> well, tomorrow's Friday. Uh, Friday always I I do quizzes, tests, and uh, it's uh, a little more relaxed, but but uh, I don't have uh, any time for you. Any time but, off? You don't have any time off on Saturday, Friday? Yes, I don't oh, have it. You will have tomorrow. There, there will be no class. Of. No, there, there, there is classes all day. No, I mean, we, we won't have a class at night, so yeah, you, uh, you, will, I, you will relax. <laughs> ah, yes, yes. In, in the night, in the English class? At oh, night, yeah, at cool. night. Excellent. But we need to replace the class another day after the, the end, maybe. Yeah. At the end, yeah. yeah we are, uh, um, on Monday, we will have tomorrow's class, basically. OK, yes. But uh, supposed to, to uh, end this module in, in, uh, in on July June. Four? Actually, it's June, you know. And da -da 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 -da. Because on, on teacher's days, we are off to 22. Oh my June God, 22. yeah, June 22nd. Yes. Uh, that's a Thursday. But Father's Day is 17th, Father it's Saturday. Is it's a Saturday. Saturday. <laughs> no problem, but teacher's day, yes, I think we are off. Yeah. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Dora, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you tonight? Um, uh, nice. But uh, I have a, a busy day. Do you yes. work? Yes, I work. <laughs> Um, could, could you do me a favor? Is there a way for you to lower your camera? Because we, we don't see you. We just see your partial face. Uh, it's a... Uh, maybe the, I, I, I try to more... more, more. <laughs> I can, it's my, my camera is the computer. It's a computer camera. Oh. It's integrated. Yes. It's integrated. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Hmm. Okay. Good. We're going to do a lot of thinking tonight. And also we have to review, finish actually yesterday's activity. So on page 19. If I'm not mistaken, that was page 15. And we had page, no, hmm. yep, page 19. Okay, can somebody remind me of yesterday's class? Let's see who remembers. I already remembered, but you tell me what 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 was the main topic? Conversation. It was on page 15, actually, page 15 on your notebook, on your mm -hmm. student's book. 
we were talking about how um, successful businesses, successful social businesses have implemented um, sustainability strategies. So really quick, what do you remember is sustainability? We said financial sustainability. We are six right now. I don't know, David is using just one camera, so two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're seven. Okay. Shoot me some words uh, that you remember from yesterday's class. New vocabulary you may have learned. I I, I remember the the post of the of this guy that, that funded the bank in his own country of Asia. Uh, that it was uh, giving micro loans to the all the, the people and 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 he says that he says that uh, uh, all of the seeds are the same all of the seeds are the same but uh, the pools are planted on flower pots for the reason they grow up like a bonsai and not like a, a regular tree and and uh, the mission or the, or the vision that uh, he has is to bring uh, some uh, some kind of basement for that people can grow up uh, uh, better. I don't remember the name of the guy, but I I I I, <laughs> I was in the past. I I read that the the story of this this guy and it was inspiring. Mo Mohammed. Mohamed John Jonas? Um, Mohamed John, and he won a Nobel Prize for, for his project, for his uh, uh, bank. Yep. Uh, <laughs> exactly, that's true. So uh, a way to take people out of poverty, that's like the, the final thought, right? And we're gonna talk about that today. You know what? I'm not going to stop too much tonight. So it's 8.08. Let's do the attendance. Um, now that we are nine, Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez, hmm. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. What is the teacher? Here comes Ana Claudia. Okay. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. I'm sorry. Present. It's okay. Thank you. Thank you, Nadora. Uh, Dora, I'm sorry. Um, Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Okay, Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejia. Gracias, Elizabeth Díaz Vázquez. Thank you. Okay. Iliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Thank you. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Not here yet. Okay. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Present. Excellent. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Okay. Juan Miguel Bran Mejia. Not here yet. Luis Albert Steve Bonilla Canales. Present teacher. Okay. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Where, oh, there you are. Okay. Try to turn on your cameras. Okay. So tonight we're going to start straight up talking about your student's book. Yesterday we were supposed to do this, but since the beginning of the class we is a review of previous topics or a free topic that I can use. We're going to move on with the vocabulary on page 15. Now, we are just a few. We are only 10 students. So I'm just going to split you in three groups. It's actually one, two, three, four. Four topics. So if I split you in fours, let me see what's the result. Let's see. Now, you know what? Hmm, this will be interesting if I split you in two groups and each group will take two topics. 
that will be better. Now it's up to you who is going to talk on the class. Tonight's um, topic is most of all working. This is the first one, then we have another section, then we have video, and all of this will contribute for you to come up with um, a social and entrepreneurship. The main topic of this class is sustainable social impact. How, how sustainable social impact is achieved by social entrepreneurs. How sustainable social impact is achieved by social entrepreneurs. As the main, the central topic or thought that I want you to keep is uh, any social program you may have heard about, how has it impacted your community? If you are aware of any, or El Salvador, I am, I am proud to tell you I am part of a social program that but, but is most of all private and non-private. It's, it's part of an NGO, it's part of the Insoforp. Without studying this technical career, which was free, I wouldn't have become what I am. I wouldn't have gained the knowledge that, that I gained back then. So it's very important. Um, I have seen personally, and I have worked with uh, teenagers under risk, that's the way they call them. And I have seen them growing as persons, you know, growing. Of course, I have seen the other side as well, which is teenagers going into these programs and very young getting married. That That's so sad. When you see a teenager of, I don't know, like 19 years old, you know, 19 years old with a girl, a girlfriend, 19 years old, and she gets pregnant and they go like, okay, I'm going to work with my father. He's a brick builder. You know what is a brick builder, right? Yeah. Albanil. So he's, he's a brick builder. I'm going to work with him. I'm going to learn the, the, this job. What are you going to do? And the girl goes like, I'm going to work with my mother. She she makes tortillas, right? I'm going to help her and we're going to work. That's all. Where are we going to live? With, with our parents? What else can we do? And it's like normal, you know. Or the worst case scenario. Let's get married. Okay. And let's go to for salud, to a clinic. And you are, you know, planning, planning our parenthood. You know, like every month she gets an she gets an injection. Kids are aware of how to build a home, but they don't know how to keep it. You know, it's so sad. I mean, so young, and that in the end ruins uh, the future. Of society that that's the way i perceive things the way i have seen it in reality and there are many factors involved here but your your mission tonight is to think on that that kind of people you know that are coming from very low resources from very low income and i'm gonna say a word they come from very low income thus they have to find their ways out of poverty and they never do. So what kind of program you can create to make these people come out of poverty and so on, right? I'll give you an example when we get there before you start preparing. For now, I'm just gonna split you into groups and group number one, <clears throat> let me run this again because more students just joined. So it's gonna be just two groups, okay? And group them, well, I'll send the screenshot, but first I have to move David. Yeah, uh, David will be with group number two, okay? Maybe you will be in group number two. So what are your topics? Uh, group number one, 
we'll see, we'll talk or tell us about bottom line. If you go to page 15, you have to research the 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 topic or the um how can I call this the phrase bottom line and the word scope scope in group number two we'll study peer organizations and lofty goals wow so it's as simple as researching the vocabulary and then come to the class and explain to the class what is the meaning of these words, okay? Simple. Now, prepare, organize as a group and determine who is going to come to the front to talk about these topics, okay? Got it? Questions? Got it. Okay, okay. Hence to the job, you only have 20 minutes for this activity and then 10 more to do the presentation. Correct the group teacher, one of my yep. advances. Right away. Okay, excellent, thank you. You're welcome. Hello, Fernando. I send you an invitation. Okay. Okay. Jose Osmin, please accept the invitation. Let's go. Uh, homework with that, I don't remember. Let me check. Your your organization. Oh yes, that's right. Scope the opportunity or possibility to do or deal with something. And bottom line, the final total of an account well, balance yeah. or other financial document. Okay. I think scope is translated as alcance. Bottom line and scope, right? Yes. Yeah. Bottom line, scope. And bottom line. I remember there in also in the platform, but we need to Google them. It's on the 2.5 homework. I guess. Least. At the bottom. Ah, okay. Bottom line scope. I suggest who else is here? Uh, Jose. I suggest to for you to present. You will be our <laughs> presenter. <laughs> Let me just open. I'm opening my, sorry, but I'm opening my manual. Mm -hmm. Trying to see if I got it. And do you have the, the, the meaning of this? Yes. Ah, okay. Yes. Ah, that it is. Sorry, I haven't seen the, the screen. Okay. That is the bottom line. Well, yeah. 
Yes, what's that? The final total of an account, the balance. Uh -huh. For financial. So we I haven't seen that word using that in that scenario. Yeah, me neither. Mm -hmm. So it's the final total of, a, of an account. The final. Does Google says the same? No, actually it says, um, I can't say campo posibilidades. I will think that it has to do with uh, the outreach in this context mm -hmm. of uh, social entrepreneurship will be the outreach of either people or time, time-wise, maybe. <laughs> I haven't seen any shit like this, that uh, explanation said before. I guess it's like a, a page at the end of the report or? Are, are you talking about bottom line or scope? No, bottom line. Oh, okay. No, bottom we haven't checked for bottom line. Uh-huh. I'm trying to understand what what it is. The outcome as a, of a business, social and sustainability practice. Ah, uh, so it would be the main purpose of the social maybe. project? Yeah, maybe. Uh, okay. Got it. Mm -hmm. It would be bottom line. Bottom line, yes, right? Yeah, bottom line social. Bottom line social. Ah, mm -hmm. so it's where it's like the common, yeah, like I will guess it, it is like, uh, how you can measure if your social entrepreneurship has been successful, maybe. Mm. Okay, somebody has the picture, some picture for, yes, this, I have one, one a picture about the organization and to write something. In, I have one picture for peer organization. I need another one from Lofty Goals. The, the concept is in the chat. You need other or it's okay? This. Okay, let me see. Lofty goals, I have two. I find other body the similar that this. What are the lofty goals? The lofty mm -hmm. goals is a goal that reaches for something big, for a high standard and requires weight or even overwhelming efforts to accomplish lofty goals. Official as they can help you write your standard and change your status. So, excellent. Transition secrets. Oh, what the definition is that, Wendy? Can you say your secret? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know his chorus only. I'm going to just pass for talking. I'm so not going to say your secret. Interesting, okay. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we need to look at the pace. There are some pace that they give it more. Uh, 
better information like Investopedia with this kind of, of, of words. Is something like business and something like that. There are other that. Okay. And uh, the font is. Mm -hmm. organizations What is the meaning of lofty goals? Uh, the bottom line. Uh, you are looking for bottom line. The bottom line is they have a many significance in a content in the human being. Uh, they are different. For, for every field is different in definition. Yeah, different definition. Okay. A conclusion. Uh, in English, the word line is a, a tip of the situation. It's the answer of the question and the result, the final result, conclusion. Yes, Borona is something that uh, you need to accomplish, but this is not our ours. Ours is a uh, lofty goals and peer organizations only. In in, in finances is a result. A final result is profit or loss. Is the final result? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. See, look, see. Okay.
Okay, we have Friday. And drop the no shape. I see it. it's which is the correct spelling. I'm sorry. Entrepreneur. I'm missing an R, right? Yeah. Not allowing me to edit it. Is this correct? No, it's not. Renew, renew, new ship. There we go. Is the benefit for how long? How much impact each and this state will receive? What else could we place on examples of scope? Um, I think you went too far. <laughs> but <clears throat> hold on. Your topic is bottom line and scope, right? Yes. Those related to sustainability of social businesses. Okay, well, you're doing a great job actually, but that should have been for the second part. Uh, the point right now was just to define the terms. What's scope? What is um, <clears throat> bottom line? What's peer organizations and what's lofty goals? Just define the terms and that's it. That's okay. why I told you, yeah, just, just <laughs> explain it to the class, the terms itself, because afterwards you're going to use the four terms. When you come back, and actually I will keep the same groups. So you can do two or three presentations. I don't know if we're more now. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so keep, keep it simple. I'll be right back with you. Okay. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Not teacher, lofty. Teacher, we have uh, asking about this this uh, word. Sorry, let me share this. I think because, so. because we we can find something like this exact definition. Lofty. Lofty. I only find. I only found. A, only found only. L O F. No A. Lofty. Someone who always takes their sweets as time going places. Okay. Or just doing anything. They always take forever to do anything. If you plan, uh, yeah. Okay. So love to suggest great or imposing altitude. Uh, let's see. It's like really high, too high, too high goals. It's the same impossible. In lofty. Okay, impossible to reach. That that is the same with, with this this word lofty. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, this this is what they say. Some kind of goal that are impossible to reach, and you need to reform more. You need to do your best to go for it. Okay. Unrealistic. Unrealistic because or, or there are good, there are good or or are because these are 
if they are unrealistic, is not a, a good way to put some kind of wall like, like that. Correcto. Okay, are you ready? <laughs> I am dealing with that concept, but <laughs> it's just what you said. Yeah, goals that you may not be able to reach. That's what it is. Okay, let's go back so you can explain it to the class because you are going to use the four terms in a few minutes, okay? Okay. Okie dokie, just waiting for the rest. I hope you decided who was going to present. Give me just a minute, okay? Sorry, guys, I'm babysitting and it's not easy. Especially when they start playing we and the youngest one is like overreacting, you know. <laughs> okay, so who's going to present from group number one? And again, I'm just clarifying all you have to do is just explain the terms. Explain the two, the two terms, make sure everybody understands. You know, I'm gonna make questions to the ones that are just listening, okay, from the other group. So whoever wants to speak is all yours from group number one. We just want to hear you talk about um, bottom line first, and then we choose somebody else from group number one to explain scope. It's better to be with the group because we didn't actually get that arranged. Sorry. Uh, is, if it is okay with uh, the group, I, I would like to present bottom line. Okay. Uh, do you mind if I share my my screen? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. So, uh, bottom line, uh, the, the materials definition is the final a total of an account balance sheet or other financial document and it uh in these um uh, under the, the what we are learning about uh, of social businesses uh we defined it as a way of measuring the success of a final uh, social business and we have we, we found a very useful image uh that is called the triple bottom line and it has to do with uh, if a social business is successful with people, and if it is also successful with the profit, the stakeholders, the economic variables, then it will be equitable. But if it is uh, successful only within the scope of people and the planet, the environment, then it will be variable. Uh, if it is successful with planet and profit, then it will be viable. But if it is successful with all of these uh par parameters then it will be sustainable so bottom line refers to uh, how much um success we can achieve 
uh, with the parameters that we uh, set up uh, in the object, the social business. How successful. Yeah, but man, that was awesome. That's a nice chart. You should send it to the group. That's really nice. I mean, understanding it the way you have done. <laughs> because you have to think twice to understand it. But don't worry, you will use this in a minute, everybody. And we will see some results uh, regarding this topic. Great job. So again, bottom line, Hmm. Are we clear on what is bottom line, guys? I understand it here is like um the bottom line, it's like the number that at the, that at the end of, of, of the of the balance sheet. And that number is kind of or is or, or I don't know, informs you like if you are profiting or losing money. So that's reality. Okay. That that's okay. reality. You know, like this is it. This is where you are standing. At the end of the day, this is where you are right now. But you got. <laughs> this is the bottom line. <laughs> it's just that it, it's a it's a expression too, right? It's an expression. And in this in this um, topic. It's exactly what Gracia has explained. Very good, and Indiana. Okay, what is scope? What scope? Ana Claudia, you should know what is scope. Yeah, we been discussing. Uh, I guess it's in the other Gracia. I guess in the other uh -huh. Gracia. It's no, no, it's in the same. It's uh, also described in the platform. There is the opportunity or possibility to do or deal with something. I, and uh, the um, extent of uh, social business uh, mm -hmm. being people affected. What we were discussing, this war is... Uh, Known uh, is used by everyone, and we understand that it is the, the uh, possibility possibility what you can do based on the abilities or the resources you have. Uh, the scope is the uh, roof, let's say it in that way, where you can achieve the goals or the projection that you made for certain social projects. Or, or whatever other thing. So it's it's a word commonly used for in different or specific we used area. to we use it a lot on a Dell, you know, with uh, technical scope support. support. <laughs> the scope of support. That that's that's my scope of support. I'm so sorry. Uh, that's that's OOS, we used to say. On notations, we used to write OOS. That's it. And uh, it was a, an acronym for out of, out of scope. scope, out of scope. So until that point, I can help you. Then uh -huh. if you need additional support, you need to pay. <laughs> or or tr be transferred to another area, another okay. department, which is out of my scope of expertise. Exactly. My scope of expertise. Mm -hmm. That's the word. My scope of expertise. I'm an expert, let's say, in teaching. If you ask me to help you with math, that's out of my scope of support. <laughs> Let me transfer you to David. <laughs> okay. You got it, guys? Mm. I think that, that yes, that's, yes, that's clear. Yes. Now, I, I, I love what you did, guys, what you were working on, and you're going to use it very soon. But talking about that a little bit, think about it. What's the scope has to do with? with an entrepreneurship. I mean, you you have to know your, know your limits. That's it. Know your limits. When you start um, a project, you have to know what, what's going to be your limit and, and have it clear, specifically regarding the budget. I mean, 
I wish somebody and would not have only that, teacher, also you told need to that. clear your scope or your limitations <laughs> with your physical effort. Uh, when you move from point A to B, or if you communicate from one place to if you another. Commute, if you commute. Commute, I'm sorry. You commute mm -hmm. from one place to another. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Great. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Okay, that was good. Let's go with group number two. Peer organizations and lofty goals. Okay, we talk about the peer organizations, and Ileana was talking about the, the lofty goals. Okay. Okay, peer organizations is a, a, a group of people, a group of, of a person that share the same characteristic and the that have uh, some, maybe some social problems like drugs or like another kind of problem like poverty, something like that, but they are organized and they give support each other to, to grow up, to, to, to clean out like the, the situation that you are sharing at the beginning in the, your social work. And uh, it, it could be another kind of, of peer organization like, this. The professional organization lies like engineering organizations and something like that but in the social view it's more like that uh, uh, the people that give support each other with the help maybe from companies or something like that and is uh, trying to to go out of that situation these are our, our concept of peer organizations they are working together for they share some characteristics in common like uh, uh, that kind of problems, or in the best of the, the case, is uh, something that have uh, the same economic situation, the same situation, and and uh, give them support too, because uh, the people that have the, the same profession give support in, in the uh, with seminar, with the uh, library, with some kind of the, of that uh, situation, but. In the social concept is more that uh, the people that have uh, some kind of problem in, uh, are in the same uh, status and they are trying to go out of the situation. And now, Ileana with Lofty Goals. Okay, and Lofty Goals basically means when you have a goal and that goal is too high something to, um, that maybe it's very difficult to achieve or your goal is uh, maybe too ambitious to achieve. So a lofty goal is something like like the, like the, the presentation said, is something big uh, or you have a high standard and nothing require, requires great or even overwhelming efforts to accomplish. So basically lofty goals is something, something in the in the in the um it's something that it's very difficult to achieve but maybe not impossible difficult but not impossible you have to do an extra effort to achieve that goal i understand okay in that in that, in that uh, situation good this we have a discussion about uh, discussion. what if what if love the goal because uh, some science says that it's, it's good for you to, to get that challenge. And the other says, no, it's not good because okay. you have you to can... be realistic. Yes, yes, you need to be realistic. And in, in, uh, in this uh, point, we are uh, having some problems. But uh, the, the main thing is that this uh, something great and something that, that uh, like uh, Ceciliana, is realistic. <laughs> okay. Hmm. To the moon. Actually, that's a common phrase among positive people. Um, that's part of the sentence, part of the uh, idea. No, aim for the moon, or aim to the moon. This is wrong. Aim to the moon. If you miss, you land among the stars. Sounds clear, right? Now, what does that mean? I, I 
I always try to, and this is not publicity, it's not an ad, I'm not promoting this, but I love it. I uh, I told Ileana on our one-on-one session about this book, it's called The One Thing from Brian Tracy, I think I told you actually, and, and there's an image that will, I hope, stays on your brain, you know, forever. It's the domino effect, if you have heard about it. And it, it's related to aiming to the moon. I mean, let me find something clearer. I want a clear image. The domino effect was actually placed, um, was the book talks about this and it, it, it says that you, there it is. Okay, so basically is this image that I'm about to share with you on WhatsApp. I cannot share it here because of the copyrights and all that. But the book states that you can push the smallest domino. But now this is done in a daily basis. When you understand this concept, if, and you will understand it as well by reading, reading, or downloading the audiobook. <laughs> it sounds like a commercial, I'm sorry. The audiobook. Tragese ese sapo. Eat that frog. Man, you will understand that your life, your daily tasks at job, at your job, your whole life is a mess. And that book may help you understanding the domino effect. What is the smallest piece of your domino? Which smallest domino do you have to push? first every day to create that chain effect and move all of the other pieces until you reach the highest one, <laughs> the most difficult. You see, that's the whole idea. So aim to the moon, push the one by one, don't get um, exasperated, you know, don't, don't get frustrated. If you don't achieve what you want on the first attempt, just keep going. And that's the whole key. Just keep trying and trying and trying and trying. Don't get tired of trying. Don't change the goal. Always use a different plan. Fine. But don't uh, stay focused. Uh, stay focused on what you want. Focus on what you want. So, hmm. peer organizations. Um, so people with the same set of minds thinking the same way definitely yes. definitely if you have an organization and everybody is pulling pulling the other way around then you're not going anywhere you will not go anywhere so if everybody's on the same page you will be fine i have seen this in my life i have worked in a company where goals were share the vision i mean the first step of the owner of the company was to share the vision and the mission of the company with everybody even with the security guard everybody who works in the company needs to know about the vision and the mission of the company be aware where we want to go have have a clear um image a clear picture of where the company wants to go does that make sense? It does, right? I mean, imagine in the corporativo. And we have the receptionist and she doesn't know that we teach English. Oh my God. And somebody comes and a customer comes and asks, What do we what do you do here? I don't know. Let me ask. <laughs> it's like, what? Right? Doesn't make sense. Now, let's go with the next step of the class. I'm going to throw a question, and this is our task. Okay. This is our task right now. Oh, I just had the image there. Hold on. How do I delete it? Oh, I found it. Okay, wait a minute. I had copied the thingy here. Sorry. So, here we go. So this is your task right now. We have to discuss this question and brainstorm as a group. 
That's our task. What's the question? What is the impact of entrepreneurship on society? What is the impact or what is the impact of entrepreneurship on society? We have clear what is entrepreneurship, right? So what's their impact in society? Uh, maybe economic improvement. Come again? Economic improvement for certain uh, people within the society or the society itself. For the entrepreneur? No, I mean, certain people within the society, like the ones who are getting the benefit, but it could also improve, eco economically improve the whole uh, society. Yeah, okay. Because you're getting a new something, a new item, you're getting new products. But it all depends, right, on the product that the entrepreneur starts with. Because right now, if you find an entrepreneur coming from, I don't know, Sultan or places really far away, selling eggs at a lower cost, that's a benefit, right? Definitely. I think the, the, the entrepreneur is, is somebody or some people that open roads. Open road for for working. Open road for for a, a products like the X. The a open road for for working. Open road for innovation. Open road for for a renovation. Open road for streets. For because is I know a guy that have a enterprise in in a, a company in some part of the country that that the state was so so so. So bad, and uh, this guy has uh, trucks, and and he fixes the, the the street for 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 his interest. But uh, all of the people of that places get the benefit of that, and uh, in that kind, of many they are opening roads for, and the, 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 even though they are open the the mind of the people, uh, when uh, I was a a, a, a guy. Uh, a child, sorry. Uh, in my city, uh, the only thing that the people buy in Metapan was a uh, cal. But uh, a company is, is start to making, I don't know how to say, cemento, and found the cemento cesa. Mm -hmm. And that company changed the life, uh, made houses for his worker, giving uh, his worker uh, uh, her her um, the uniform. That company was uh, jeans and and shoes, uh, good shoes, good jeans, good shirts, and uh, everybody wants to work because of the people were in, in in the in the farms in. Uh, harvesting something or planting something in that company changed changed all of the all the whole community and, uh, yes all of the whole community and that and then <laughs> so, I, I think the entrepreneurs open roles okay they open roles so what's the difference between social entrepreneurship and social environmental social responsibility environmental social responsibility do you remember that topic uh, really quick a company must uh, right now is like a law if you have a company of over x amount of employees you must become social responsible and create a social responsibility program an srp you remember Yep. Yes. So what is the difference between a CESA creating a social responsibility program and and, and entrepreneurs uh, coming up with a small idea of selling something to the community? What's the difference? 
maybe the, the main objective. The uh, what? Because the main objective because mm -hmm. CESA will be uh, regarded as a, a traditional entrepreneurship and it could on the side make a social program but a social entrepreneurship has the main objective of making a change in the society of benefiting the society hmm. but CESA offers an English course and it's free <laughs> but it's not the main objective of CESA giving out a free English course it's something that comes on the side because CESA's main objective will be to get a financial benefit what's their financial benefit you're getting there you're getting there continue Gracia. i don't know just what, what's their benefit think as an accountant uh getting green numbers <laughs> why why do you get good numbers if you invest well if you throw your money to get as a, a company uh, a benefit, a financial benefit for the stakeholders, for the investors. Yeah. How do you call that, by the way, guys? What's the term for the donations in accounting? Dora, we need Dora here. <laughs> I don't know what is the name, but I, I know that the they get some uh, tax uh, reducement. I, I don't know. Yeah, that 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 word I'm looking for. How do you call that, uh, Dora? When when, oh my God, I forgot the word. Uh, when a company gives donations and at the end of the fiscal year, they take that money. It's like this company is donating millions of or or thousands of dollars in uh, Teleton. Yes. They, they do it. They get a compensation with the tax. What's the compensation? Pay, pay how, how do you call that, Dora? The, the type of compensation for... Uh... No, all the donation is a, is a deduce of, of tax. Tax deductible. deduction? So that's... Deduction. Yeah, donations are de deductible from taxes. That's all. Yeah. Right? Yes. Uh, no, no all. No all donation. Not all. On... Not all. Depending on the profit of the company, hmm. uh, is is a I don't know percentage the donation. It's just it's a percentage. Gender laws in the in this in this term because after all donation could you uh, reduce the tax, but now it's different. Okay, it has to be related to the companies, to the company's niche of market, I guess. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. So moving on with the topic. So what is the impact of entrepreneurship on society? Uh, Gracia was saying it's a benefit. David is, tell, is talking about something impressive, which is true when something comes on a community it creates a growing development that's local development right and we're getting there the next thing is to think of the next topic which is how to make that local development uh, sustainable and let me give you a clear example the person who I admire the most in my life, his name was Jose Vicente Rodriguez Arevalo. Jose Vicente Rodriguez Arevalo. Uh, Vicente, Chente, not Fernandez, right? But he, he was um, an inspirer. He was a fun, he wasn't funny. He wasn't funny, but he was always smiling. Even when he was mad, he was smiling. <laughs> But in, he was smart. He was actually the smartest guy in my family. He had like three uh, careers. You know, he graduated from three careers. And the, the funny thing is that last career he started was um, systems, you know, six. 
Um, he was studying at the university uh, to become an engineer in systems. And the funny thing is that he was the oldest in his class. And his classmates used to come to the house. I used to arrive when he was a kid, when I was a kid, and find him surrounded like for like by 10, 10 guys, you know, 10, 10 students. And he was like my age, 40 something. And he was around, he, there were like 10 people, you know, 10, 10 guys around him talking, laughing. They loved him. Everybody used to love him. So his job, even though he was a public accountant, he was an administrator. He graduated from administration too. And he knew about computers. Even though he had all these three these three characteristics, the one that he developed the most was teaching. So he inspired me without him knowing. And unfortunately, he passed away in 2007. But I realized later and pay attention to this because you will find out that in your life, somebody without you noticing, listen, without you noticing, somebody inspired you to become who you are. For example, me, I used to go with him. He worked for an NGO, a nonprofit organization, and he used to go to Zacatecoluca. He used to take his pickup or sometimes he was by bus. When he used to go by bus, he used to come back to San Salvador nearly dead, you know, exhausted. But he used to arrive home and play with his kid. He had a very uh, young kid. The thing is that he used to go to, to Zacateco Luca to teach poor people teach people in poverty, in extreme poverty, how to manage a small farm, how to, ma how to manage an ex farm, okay? The money from foundations, from charity, he used to carry the money, take it to them, you know, give them the money, and th their, their duty, their job was to start buying hens, chickens, you know, and start producing eggs, producing other other things, harvesting as, as, as David said. So that was his job. And I, I used to look at him because he used to do a lot of dynamics. He used to play with these people, you know, they loved him. You have no idea. Every time he used to return home, he was carrying cheese, tortillas, uh, corn. <laughs> so he was always full with things that people used to give him in appreciation, you know, and that's lovely. There's nothing better and your best payment is the smile of people when you help them. Because I, I have experienced that. I went to Sacacoyo, I think is the name of this place. I can remember. El Peñón. You know that place? Komasawa. I went to Komasawa and I helped some some little kids at the university with my classmates. Man, that was amazing. So did he help that community, helping them finding out how to how to grow things? You know, he did. He did. When he passed away, his funeral was so crowded. The funeral home was totally crowded. It was a lot of people. Of course, there was no such social media as today, but I found someone posting something on Facebook, studying Facebook, you know, um, talking about his passing, his passing. So that's a way to impact um, a small place. I want to go. I want to go to Zacatego Luca, but I can't remember where it was that we used to go. But I really want to go and see how these people is living nowadays. 
what do you think? Do you think they may have developed their little town? Of course. Of course. When you don't know when you when you said previously the little piece of domino can change everything. Yeah. If you if you have some people, that people help another people, then that is a it's a chain. Domino for yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. And lastly, so we we got it right. How social impact is achieved by social entrepreneurs. This is very interesting. And this is your next step. I'm going to split you again in two groups. And now is your turn. You have no more than 30 minutes the most to prepare a presentation. This time is what you were doing. And thank you for that because as groups, you were working amazingly. You were creating a presentation. Keep going with that. But this is your task create a program okay sample a program of local development i want you to tell me where in which part of the country you will start this uh the development program this social entrepreneurship what is it about and more importantly how is it going to improve the life of um, the habitants, you know, of this place where you're going to start the, 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 the program. In other words, are they going to have better roads, as David was saying? Do you think they will improve in that sense? Will they have electricity? Will they have water? I think there are still places where there's no water or electricity in El Salvador. Yeah? Still? Yes, there are. There are. Yeah, so think about it. Um, present it to the class. That's your point, okay? To tell the class what's your idea of a program that will develop a community and what's going to be the impact of your project. That's all. Your entrepreneurship. Does that make sense? Good. Okay, so let's can start you, working. Can yeah. you... Can you write the questions? Uh, what is the project? Uh, what is about <laughs> sure. the project? Sorry, Be because better, uh, better still. Can somebody paraphrase what I just said? Yes, uh, the the first is uh, what is uh, your project? What is uh, who? What people are you reaching? What people are are getting the benefits? And and uh, it make a change. If it could be a change for the, uh, the people or for the town. Okay, good. Hold on. And the name, the name of the One second. Mm -hmm. but that's basically the idea. But do it by yourself, you know, as group contribute the whole team you know must contribute with ideas on how this can evolve if you do it fine you will find yourselves giving a lot of ideas you know very excited and helping your classmates giving ideas okay good you got i think you got the idea right any questions okay good let's do it
Eh, Wendy, Jarvin, Juan, Miguel, José Wilfredo, and Francisco, please accept your invitation. I don't know how to say that in English. So they and, and we need to identify or assume there is a, a local pro product that we want to launch, right? Or that they could develop. Like they or have they this, exactly. this um they have the means of developing something. No, not the means, but they have like the raw material, maybe. Mm -hmm. We could base it on uh, Lago de Alegría. They have sulfur uh, on the Alegría Lake. Um, there is a kind of a business where you get you can make soaps with sulfur and it helps your skin. They use it for acne treatment. So oh, really? I went there and I haven't seen nobody using <laughs> Yeah. in the lake yeah in the lake you can you can actually take a little piece and it's uh kind of uh yellowish which is the the sulfur mm, i know it smells strange yeah. <laughs> it smells terrible uh -huh. but the sulfur... I, ha I i haven't seen people <laughs> <laughs> maybe i went on a weekly day <laughs> But I don't know if they are allowed but like to extract it at any level. So I don't know. That's maybe an maybe. idea. What I saw is people selling fruits. I'm sorry. I don't know who was. Uh, don't know who. I remember. Uh, I don't know where, where, where. When I watch TV on maybe on news about different projects and uh, I don't know remember the, the name of the company but they help these communities giving uh, like a uh, fish they have a uh, I don't know how to how I say in English aquaculture uh, mm -hmm. and they give the fish Fishes and yeah, um, yes, that's mm -hmm. that's right. Yes, and they sell and they produce in the community sell, and is is they receive money and can um can help other people in this community or other uh, other near this 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 place, other people near this place. I don't know where is where is that mm, because... I actually know of a project that is in Nehapa where they Nehapa. have these uh they actually have a uh, 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 tilapia and they also have hydroponics. Nehapa Power. They have uh th th this enterprise, they have uh, a different projects in order to help the, the community and uh, not all older people that is to young young people and and young young people too is I don't know if they give um uh, study or or Scholarships. Scholarships, yes. Scholarship. Okay. Um I understand if you have a entrepreneurship and you can help your community, you have you need to have the resources. 
in resources and sustainable over time. Uh, but for the purpose of this exercise, we need to create an entrepreneurship oriented. So we need to think in a specific product, I guess, we are going to launch. A specific product and a specific community that uh -huh. will be benefited. It can be a special of Tyler. We will bring something tutorial to produce something to sell. Mm -hmm. But let's name it. What product are we going to launch or which community we are going to? Which community? Um, Do we focus in the tilapia thing or? <laughs> yeah. or, or hen and, and chicken, I don't know. Uh, yeah, but let's put in the name. Do you remember? Who say Nehapa? No, Nehapa. I said Nehapa. Ah, okay. In Nehapa, are the tilapias or the chickens? Or... Yeah, they, they have uh, tilapias and they also have hydroponics. So uh, mm -hmm. once the tilapias uh, excrete their thing, then mm -hmm. they use that same water to uh, really? for, for, for hydroponics. hydroponics? Yeah, because it, it is uh, uh, nutrients. It, they, it, it has nutrients wow. for the plant. And yeah, I do know of the community, the specific community, the name and all the details. Oh, really? Yeah. Did you know them? What is the name of the community? Uh, Calle Vieja, Comunidad Calle Vieja. Uh -huh. Okay. Maybe and why don't we take that because of the time? Yes. Yeah. And the teacher is pointing us and looking at us like these people. <laughs> okay, let's name it Calle Vieja. Yeah, Comunidad Calle Vieja. Okay, what they produce? Uh -huh. Parents program, but another, another idea? Mm. The, the, the idea is that we need to help the community, not only give. Uh, give. Because the, the, this child, uh, living in environmental so bad, but when they they stay in in kindergarten they they have a, a, a environment better and uh, the education uh, maybe become a, a better person as uh, this this child in some time, mm -hmm. this is this is child in 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 their house no eat no eat a, a food healthy mm -hmm. yeah, but in the in the kindergarten propose a, a, a give a, a healthy healthy food it is interesting <laughs> yes it's, it's, it's so nice. And now the government uh, help uh, uh, this organization with money, but it's uh, important the 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 uh, structure structure, uh -huh, structure and uh, respect. And respect the 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 no sé, lineamientos, lions. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, it sounds sounds great, but um, okay. Another idea. We have two ideas: health education project and children assistance. The best financial education. a uh, yeah, true good parties program. Uh, it's a big problem, but okay. Uh, another one. What? What? Mm. Be another one. Um, mm. or, or start an analyzing this too. Yeah, I think. 
because uh, how we can change the certain community, the education is a good way. Uh, because it's only gives uh, give something that there is no 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 transformation. We need to to do something that can uh, can uh, uh, can give the 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 impulse that the people need to to grow up. Okay, what other things? Mm -hmm. Children assistance. I I I <laughs> health education program project. Okay. Well what location? You said some some names, Dora, La Palma, community. community what other? La Palma. Uh, Where is La Palma? Where is this community? Near uh, La San Benito. Okay. What other? In this in this in this case, just only La La Palma, but uh, think a. Uh, uh, a put the other uh, organization in like uh, Sacamil, for example, uh, Mexicanos. Y Los Pango. Los Pango, this, this is place. Okay, we need to work uh, with the government. We need to give a, a project to the government. And mm -hmm. the government gives some, uh, some money to implement and but uh, we need uh, uh, people who take care of this, this, this kids and uh, who can uh, work with them, maybe into the same community to give uh, another thing, not only the, the children assistance, but uh, generating some jobs in, in the community, but it could be. It's some interesting, mm -hmm. and uh, 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 need to see in about uh, uh, a budget. How much? If we are talking about uh, how many children? Fifty. Mm -hmm. If we think about the fifty mm -hmm. children. In that community? Mm, 50 or 70. 70. Okay, if we've seen in, in groups of three. Yes. Three, three groups of uh, uh, 20. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. and we are talking about 60 children, and uh, we need uh, uh, what uh, kind of uh, the infrastructure? What could be the infrastructure? We need to build something, to buy something. No, no, no. It's just create a program. What is the purpose okay. of it? Um, where are you going to develop it? Okay. The program and okay, excellent. Uh -huh. Where and what will be the benefit for that community? So what's okay. gonna happen with the community once you launch the program and it works? How are they going to be benefited by it by what you're gonna do? Okay, excellent, excellent. Okay, uh, we need uh, uh, at least three people, maybe from the community, who work full time. Mm. A teacher. Yes, uh, but. Entrepreneurship uh, oriented, it will be to develop, we say, develop the. Or improve improve the production of how I guess develop it. develop the production develop. Yeah, develop for for develop for because we assume product. it doesn't exist right yeah yeah we assume it doesn't exist develop the production of hydroponic and can we say tilapia yes I guess right 
I think tilapias is the oh, is no. the is the is um, the name the proper name right? No, yeah, that's that's right. Tilapia. 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 Or Saint Peter's fish. We mm. should call it tilapia. Saint Peter's fish. Oh really? First time I seen that. No, but let's say tilapia. <laughs> tilapia in English tilapia. is tilapia. Uh -huh. yeah. okay. <laughs> or tilapia. Mm -hmm. no, I don't know. And, and you see that now nowadays you can easily find in the supermarket you can find the tilapia fillets. And I remember some years ago you must go to a specific place and you select, I want you to fish me this, this, and this. Here in Santa Ana, there is a place that you can go there and you select which one. They can fish for you and uh, I used to I used to go to that place. Oh really? Oh yes. Yeah. <laughs> and also ecologic development uh, and I don't know how we can say not develop sustain that is the word sustainability. 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 Uh -huh. sustainability. Just one moment I'm gonna over the time. Purpose economical development and sustainability. What else? Uh, <laughs> oh my God. Let's put this in practice in our normal life. <laughs> Let's create a company. On <laughs> sustainability. <laughs> The purpose, the location you already grow it, right? The Comunidad Calle Vieja. Yeah, I have. Where do you, I guess you need to add where is Calle Vieja? You said in. Yes, in Nejapa. Nejapa? Uh -huh. Nejapa. Just need. Ah, okay. The map is there. Uh, products, I guess you need to add the products that it would be hydroponic and tilapia. And tilapia. Yes. Uh -huh. well, well, uh, tomatoes, what is the other vegetable? I guess in hydroponic they develop not only tomatoes, they develop different. Mm. Hydroponic. Mm -hmm. yeah, crop. Exactly. That's the word to use, crops. Crops. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't know. I guess. Crop. Oh, yeah. Crop. Or should we use cultivation? I don't think so. Cultivation is. Sponsors or what? Uh, the NGO. The NGO or sponsors? Mm. Both. I think both. It will, will be provided by sponsors. And I also would like to include uh that they will receive technical support uh not mag they will get uh, assist technical ah. support system from mag ministerio de cultura and ganadería I private sponsor from L. Algo así, que no sean. 
specific, maybe. Specifics. Yeah, because I, I think that many companies would like to... Yeah. Yeah. Go there because they are tax exempt and, and so on and so on. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Then hydroponic cultivation using a piece of land within the grounds of Camilla Playa Vieja. Initial investment will be provided by specific sponsors. The NG will all will arrange technical support from the MAC. And mm -hmm. tools and materials will be provided by spe specific sponsors. That's it. And we need to add uh, technical assistance or, or the um, what Fernando said, uh, uh, trainings. Technical trainings. So training. So there must be like a, a like a schedule calendar of the activities. The first thing will be a the technical. How do that? I don't. I don't remember how you name when you study all the. You study first and then you go to the practice of the operation, but you first. I see what the other is. Resi residency? Yeah. Huh? Residency? No, no, no. When you do all the written thing, the theoretical part, I don't know if it's correct to say theoretical. Yeah, theoretical. Theoretical. Theory. Uh, oh, theory. When you understand all the uh, glossary, words, because it's necessary to make sure that everybody understands what is a hydroponic. What is that? Uh, oh, yeah, that's the name, a glossary. Glossary, yeah, okay. That, that's the, the name, yeah. But I don't know how to say that, like being in classes, I don't know, the presentation, oh. or I don't know how to say that, the, the, that specific period where people will be prepared, will be in preparation, I don't know. In like a training. Oh, yeah, we can use training, right? Training. Yeah, okay. Training. Yeah. What's for, what's for, uh, no, no no never mind. Okay. Go ahead. No no no. I was wondering if Francisco was with you in this group, but no, no. he's on the other group. Okay. No, here we have the other F, Fernando. <laughs> mm. Oh yeah, the first thing is find sponsor. Um, um, the approval communities um uh, how is it called um like the 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 main people who make decisions for the community how is it called like create like uh most of the time they have it already the directiva <laughs> yeah directiva yeah. but I don't know how to say así Direct. I guess. And to handle all this, that if there is no quorum, there is no decision. Yeah, that's it. Oh, okay. So I think this will work as a cooperativa. That is almost how the cooperativa works, right? That all the members are in agreement. Um, Hello. I'm sorry. Uh, no, no, no. Continue. Oh. Go ahead. The three will be plan training, uh, execution, execution, or execution. it could be startup. Or because execution goes, or, oh, it would be like the production period or something like that. Yeah, like starting up the or setting up everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. Water system and greenhouse. And, and then um, 
I don't know. How do you initiate a tilapia pool? <laughs> Uh, maybe offering a variety in the menu or offering a new menu using tilapia. No, no, no. I mean, no. She's talking about how to, how you create the. Star, how do you call the? Uh, uh, earth and ponds, the ponds. How do you create the ponds? But I remember I went to this place. Uh, the. The border between El Salvador and Honduras, where they are um, harvesting mm -hmm. this fish, and they they were um, doing it on the lake. You know, they basically cover part of the lake with floating tubes. You know, and they have the net underneath surrounding it, and there's where the fish grow, and that's it. I found a pound preparation, maybe. Mm hmm. Okay. That's oh. the word, pound preparation. So many directives. Is this correct? Communities directives approval. I will. I, I want to say like the. La directiva de la comunidad. El apro la aprobación mm -hmm. de la comunidad. De la directiva de la comunidad. The creation it would be or the most of the time they already have a community leaders. Uh, they have leaders already. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know or set up the how did you call it before? This Com step created, created. No, or take the, the, the decisions. Era cooperativa. Oh. Mm. I guess cooperativa, cooperativa. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then for the follow up is will be launch, launch the project. Launch. Um... Or go live. I don't know. Or maybe the follow up. The follow-up could also include like an economical training so that they can be uh, autonomous. Like I'm not going, I, I will save a little money so that I can uh, keep uh, cultivating tilapias and hydroponics and I will sell, save a little money so that I can invest it in the future. Yeah, but, uh, like give the community uh, information on how they can keep going on the business. Uh, financial information. Right. Yeah, financial training. Yeah, it's important financial training because they also need to learn how to move their product because they can have an overproduction and suddenly, what do I do? Or maybe okay. they, on the other hand, they could have mm, more customers, less products to avoid. Yes, they need financial training. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, where is the... Besides the financial training, what else do we include in the follow up? Because in the execution, it will be like the startup setting up everything and um, they already have this. This is the project. This is the project, okay? We are here. Heart to Heart for Liver, Health Education Project, and Children Assistance with the Breakfast, Lunch, Education, and Health Care. True? Or throughout? I don't know. I don't know what by true. Parties program, good parties. Okay, it's in a name. A tribal strategy for people working to prepare the benefits are healthy children in the community, good friends for kids, encourage the kids, give them help and the vision. There are 
other opportunities are nice in, in and life could be better than need to do for other orders from the health education for the parents. We try to start the cycle of reduce reproduction and give the children a strong from the foundations to see in a better future, generating jobs in the community and out of it. Okay. Mm -hmm. The next part is maybe a budget, but this is the work for, for Dora. Dora is a sporty budget. Only for her an idea. Budget. Uh, we need about uh, three, six, seven, eight. At the least. A people, I think, the, the, what is the minimum wage? <laughs> the mini? The minimum wage, the minimum wage, uh, salary, minimum salary, salary. A people for, I think, in 40, $400. Dollars. We have. And a uh, uh, full, wow, full for is uh, 60, about 80 people. Full. For about 80 people. Thinking. Uh, Five dollars a day for eighty is uh, four hundred a day for three is about twelve thousand. for food. Every month, and the medical will be maybe pro bono. I don't know how to say volunteer. Medical will be volunteers and uh, some medicines. David, are you projecting the the presentation? Because I can see it's like freezing. Uh, ah, yeah. Yes. Thank you. Uh, how many money we need for medicines? Something estimated. How much or, money? How much money? Much because it's uncountable and. Uh, Unpredictable because it uh, loss. <laughs> okay, put a day thousand dollar for. Mm. Yeah, I, I was talking for a month. This is for a month. month. For a month. Okay. Yes. What else? Uh, local. Mm, the community, maybe the rent. Rent. Mm. We need to rent a house in that place, something like four hundred dollars is maybe two houses. No, I think that. Just... What else? Mm. And uh, okay. This is um says for the materials that, that we are going to okay provide. school oh, materials yeah school and also um uh, yes only material because yeah because, because we are going to provide materials for the children's and for the parents 
Yes, and, and uh, we need a... Maybe that part. Um, per month. We are talking about 60 children, right? 60 children. Yes. 60 children, they need uh, where to eat. Uh, what is the name? Plate? Plate, maybe not. No. Dish? Dish. Yes. yes and dish. you say children. Don't Chil add an S. Don't add an children. S. Children. Children. Yes, I want to emphasize there are too many. <laughs> Thank you. Children, children. Okay. Children, children, children. I don't know who was the, the people or the group that sing that, that song. Okay. Uh, seis, dieciocho. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, for example, the, for, uh, the, for the transport, transportation. Well, we are going yes. to move to the community. Yes, the transportation, yes. Transportation. How many? Another 400? Sorry, Francisco. Francisco, plus he wrote something in the chat. But yes, Francisco, this budget is, is per month. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, uh, mm -hmm. how do you say mm -hmm. imprevistos? I don't know, other. Others. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so there's. It was in Spanish, we say volados, but others. Oh, and we need to. Dora, you need to do this. <laughs> okay, 18, 200, 600, 19,200. The same. Only 300 for, for others. The scene is we have a, a we need to have a, a 20,000 a month. So okay. I think is twenty thousand. I am okay. Let me see. Twelve, thirteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. No. Six hundred. No. Five. Five hundred. Five. Five hundred. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, 500 and uh, three, three. Because you have 12 and three and uh -huh. three. Okay. 15, four, four, and two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, what else? What other idea do we have? This a uh, so so. Uh, no. Um, what else? I don't remember the, the questions. The, oh, the question. I lost. <laughs> yeah. 
you, I mean, sí, sí, you ask pertinent questions. Sorry, let me see what the questions are. Great, I don't remember the questions. They are in the chat. No. Nope. Well, the name of the project, the community. We have the I, name, we have, we have the community, we have the benefits. We have and, to. And, Okay, I'm really sorry to hear that. Amigo, hope you get better soon. Okay, guys, I think we're back. We are done with the class for tonight. I didn't want to stop you because everybody was so excited, you know, giving ideas, preparing a presentation. So tomorrow at about 9.30, I'm sorry, about at about 8.30, 8.30, sorry, we're going to start with the presentations, okay? It's just mm -hmm. two. but I expect you to do the best, and I'm sorry. It's not tomorrow. It's Monday. Monday, yes. Tomorrow we are. Yes. So you have the whole weekend. <laughs> so tomorrow there's no class, right? I thought no it class. would be next but, Friday, but, but surprise. No, it's, it's tomorrow. But you could be in a meeting with your group, uh, Anna Claudia. <laughs> oh, no, thank you. <laughs> I'm happy that. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Oh, you look at you. Attitude. You're happy. Okay. It's because I'm going to go to bed earlier. Like, yeah. Yeah. You should do it. Instead of taking the class, go to bed. Oh, yes. Of course. At eight. Just go to bed. <laughs> to sleep, not to watch TikTok no, or. No, no, no. To sleep. No, to sleep. We need Give your brain some rest. Okay, guys. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Prepare that a little bit Monday. better. And on Monday, I'll give you a few minutes at the beginning of the class so you can recall, remember. And we have the list on the chat, so that's going to help us again, okay? So, Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Present teacher and good night. Good night. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Good night. Good night. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Present. Thank you. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejia. Present teacher. Thank you. Gracia Elizabeth Diaz Vasquez. Present. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. I'm here, teacher. Present. Thank you. Remember to say present. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. He didn't show up tonight. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Jose Osmin. He left and he was supposed to stay tonight. Okay. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Are you working? Yes, teacher. Okay. Juan Miguel. I'm the, Brown right Miguel. now I'm in the middle of a mirroring. I'm sorry. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night, Juan Miguel. Hope you get better. Thank you, teacher. See Luis you Albert Steve Bonilla Canales. 
present teacher. Nine hey, nine. Steve, could you stay 10 minutes? Yes. Okay. Thank you. It's just that, you know, Jose Osmin just left. Jose Wilfred is in a meeting. Juan Miguel is feeling sick, so I need you to stay 10 minutes. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte, she was here. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Good night. Good night, guys. See you Monday. Bye. See you. Bye. Bye bye. Why not tomorrow, teacher? Sorry, I I joined I, late. Yeah, I'm really sorry. I have something to do, and I requested permission. So, oh, they, okay. but they will inform you more formally. Okay. Good night. Okay. Good night. Okay, Steve Rogers, how are you? I'm fine. It's, I don't know if this if, if week has been busy, but it's okay. I'm going out with my own responsibilities in, in a good way <laughs> in my job. But it's okay. I feel, I feel well. Tired, but well. What do you do? I work at Bank of Cucatlan in uh, it's a risk area. Complainment. Risk. Complainment. Risk. Complaints area. Complaint area, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I analyze cases uh, about our customers. Um, yeah, all, all the, the person or enterprise. We analyze in order. In, the idea is to um, analyze the risk of loaning money to these companies. No, no, no. Or what? It's about the prevention of lavado de dinero. Oh, money laundry. Money laundry. Yeah. Money laundry prevention. Okay. Prevention. Money laundry prevention. Yeah. Enterprise or we, we have a own customer when we analyze our own customer and we other a relations uh, with other we come the money from and analyze countries different countries mm -hmm. because uh, we don't have a relations there are in specific uh, countries like Russia, and R Russia, Cuba, Russia, <laughs> Russia, Cuba, um, Chipre, Chipre, mm -hmm. Chipre, and other countries we don't have relations because uh, we follow the instruction about United States. Any mm. country? Of course, yes, you are. I guess we are uh, under the United States regulations because we use the dollar, right? Yeah. We use dollars. If we used euros, euros, we will be under Europe's, <laughs> right? <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, so you validate documents, I guess? Yes, we need... Because recently we... I, I had to... I had to do something on my own, my personal account, but that was through your competitors, another bank. And um, I was ready. I mean, I had some documents to support the amount, but they didn't even look at them. You know, they didn't request a copy of them because it was a deposit from, from the United States, but it, it was a, a huge amount of money, but they didn't, ask me for any papers that's really weird yes but, but it, it, it's necessary to support a uh, where it, where from your your money with you receive uh, a lot of money a big uh, for example a uh, i don't know one million dollars oh no no it wasn't that much but but what's the the minimum to require documentation for a deposit? Is it five or $10,000? It depends. 
and it depends if you receive an international uh, transfer. Transfer, yes. Uh, we need or uh, we request um, twenty twenty thousand dollars. Twenty thousand. Okay. Okay. So starting on twenty thousand, you start requesting. Uh, what if the person receives that amount every month? You know. $20,000 every month, $20,000 every month. Every month or maybe in every transfer. Every transfer, if, if we ask if uh, only the one, the one uh, transfers or we, if the same amount or less. Hmm. And um, we ask for documents and uh, we need support. Support. We support. To back up, to back up the transfer, to back up the transfer. Hmm. Yes, but it's, it's interesting uh, because it's, I, I, uh, in this area, I have. Uh, more one year you have over a year over, over a year over a year on this over area this wow area. how long so, have you been how long have you been working for for Banco Catlán? i have been working for over four years four before years. i uh, before i i uh, and give a just Customer support, uh, on chat support. and on social media, mm. and I know a lot of <laughs> about all our, pro our products and services about one. That's good. I have a black. That that's the one we always use. You know the black, the platinum. I think is called. I can't remember the platinum. Oh, there was a oh, video. Platinum. Yeah, card. the platinum, the platinum credit card. Yeah. My God, I didn't play the video that I want wanted you to see uh, on the class. Anyhow, we'll do that on Monday. I'll take notes around here. Okay, Steve Rogers, thank you very much for staying with me. But we will stay again, okay? Because I just needed you to cover this time. <laughs> Sorry. But anyways, we will do more than one round because we are just 14 on the on the group and it's 25 classes. So we're missing still half. Okay. Thank you very much, Steve. Hope you have a wonderful night. You too. Thank Take you. Care. And have a nice long weekend. Same to you. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.